that's been the Frame case 13. so far. But the Mark's fact remains, from 7-5 up, if Mark Williams can find some inspiration, the winning line might not be too far away. Conversely, if Mark Selby does what he normally does, dig in, this could be going the distance. The remarkable thing for me is that Williams is two frames ahead, Alan McManus, with an 85% pot success rate. That is well below the norm. Yes, it is. Good evening, everyone. Looking forward to this final session. Yes, I guess you could say that. Although probably, I would say, 6 or 7% of that at least is... It's just the exchanges, a shot to nothings, all that sort of stuff. That obviously goes on that statistic. Kind of like that. Go on the, the tally or miss pots, even though it was a double attempt. Both stubborn, both crafty. When an immovable object and all that kind of stuff meets an irresistible force. That's why it's been so far. Nothing's given yet. One. That's the kind of thing that could separate them. Excellence. Ten. That was beautifully played. Touch and ball. Exact red that he was after. And that was as good as the blue. Eleven. Yeah, worth looking again. He's looking for that wing ball, just to push it, encourage it towards the corner. Eighteen. Nineteen.
26. It's already been a marathon that can take a toll on concentration. And of course, Williams is the older man. Will he have that mental stamina? Thirty-four. but it was quite a curious way of playing it playing ball he would have must have known the natural was taking it into the blue oh, just about okay Be there with top spin Something extraordinary. I know he does like that, 40. doesn't he? He likes to roll balls in plain ball. But, uh, gone wrong again. Although he potted the blue, he must have missed time that to end up where he did. Could this be like the previous frame when he made 45 early? And despite a few alarms, held on. Mark Williams, 40. simplest shot that Mark played there it almost like casting his fly into the river see if he can get a bite almost entice Mark into playing a shot he doesn't really want to Too clever for those games. I think that's one of the things that's moulded this match. The snooker intellect of these two is off the charts. They can't quite outfox each other. Yeah, no, 
this is a big shot. He has a certain amount of insurance with a handy lead with three tight reds. No, oh, sweet, that's a bomb with a shot. And those three reds now help him, the frame at his mercy. Don't want to sound like a snooker philistine, especially with you sitting next to me in the commentary box, Alan, but when you boil it all down, oh. potting's still the most important thing. <laughs> yes, it is. It sure, surely is. Eleven. Twelve. Ooh, now then, he's about Eight to ten inches shy of pace on that 19. shot, which is the pr proverbial mile. Virtually nothing to do with a cue ball. Self-inflicted pressure. That was self-inflicted now as he got cover. If he has, he's very fortunate. Mark Williams, 19. There's only one word to describe that black. <coughs> Tentative. In the extreme, actually. Yeah, there's the cutback. It's one of those shots you think, I can't overcut it, let's get it as thin as I can. Now, what can Mark do? He's got to... A mini swerve, cushion first, and try and flick the red in. Not enough. Not enough. Foul. No miss. Mark Williams, four. One. Lucky to get cover, lucky to get that kiss. <laughs> it's not been a clean frame, but it looks like being a clean sheet. Seven. Fifteen. <coughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-eight. 
Mark Williams, 28 and different. Mark Williams is two frames away from seeing his name engraved on the British Open trophy for the third time. Frame 14, Mark Williams to break. Welcome back, everyone. Mark Williams looking to press on and leave Mark Selby no room for manoeuvre. Mark Selby's won 22 world ranking titles. The first was the 2008 Welsh Open. He was up against another member of the famed class of 92. Ronnie O'Sullivan, he was 8-5 down, sounds familiar, he won 9-8. Mark Williams' break-off has been causing Mark Selby problems all day. He's been able to get that red behind the black spot area. So he's forcing Mark to play something aggressive. Oh, what a pot. One. Yeah, OK. He hedged his bet slightly with laying it in the edge of the bunch. But all the same, what a great pot. Often with a break-off shot, you don't get a red behind the black spot area and of course players tend to just leave the cue ball down this end, but that wasn't an option. It's been a problem he's had to deal with. Ping ball. Mark Selby won.
Yeah, the quality from the back of the court, so to speak, has been incredible. Any young player to learn how to play safety, get a rerun of this match and keep watching it. An education. There it is again. He wants the right half, the right wing to cover the red over the pocket. And, as usual, he's got the cover he wanted. And even for tactical maestros, sometimes the only way forward is temporary containment. Top of the table, no wonder the cover in the green was the key. Now, yeah, he's looking at resting on this red on the end cushion, but the one above it to the right might go to right middle, which stops him probably from playing that shot. So he might have to press here. The two together on the right wing. He could play the pot with a deep screw off the other one. Content to lay the cue ball in the corner.
brilliant safety shot. <coughs> Using the green as the shield. The thing about it is he, pl he plays that type of shot. Like the whole match depends on it to get the cover. You find it so important, the small details. Mark, just happy to defend and contain for the time being. Foul, you miss. Mark Sell before. We haven't seen a half-century break for four frames, and I think one of the reasons they're uh, working so hard to try and force yeah, a chance when they get yeah, one. Yeah. They've been in defensive mode for quite some time. That, of course, plus the accelerating pressure. Looks very good. Thank you. Has to get it this time, obviously, because he can see Reds full ball. Yeah, no problem this time. The very first frame tonight, we had 12 minutes without a ball being potted. This in similar vein. Extremely cagey. No option, he's got to play the deep screw to bulk. A shot he has, no problem, cue ball wise. Selby's encountering a taste of his own medicine here. Brown is looming large as a target for these guys. It's one of those, you know, uh, the pot's a bonus. 
one. Key ball as ever. Well, it wasn't absolutely perfect, but very good. Shouldn't be any massive problem, the escape. Mark Williams, one. Three cushions. Mark there came to the table with a puff of the cheeks and almost as if this guy just will not let go. He's like a dog with a bone, Mark Williams, out there. But as Stephen rightly said, time doesn't mean a thing. title and trophy on the line at the end of the evening or the morning <laughs> thank you Mark. Any time you can out safety Selby, you're doing something correct. Good thin safety, but going to be in behind <laughs> blue yellow here. You would think possible shot to nothing as well. He just will not let go, Mark Williams. His attitude, the Accumulation of 31 years of professional experience at the highest level. His determination, the accumulation of recent disappointment, having been at the deep end of many tournaments and quite often he's been narrowly denied. got there in the end the last I don't know 10 or 15 minutes like a down a diamond mine chipping away trying to find a little jewel somewhere eventually he got one and the work that he put into that just to get a shot to nothing or getting anything else Five. 
11. It looks ugly and congested, but a couple of shots could change that. Eighteen. Nineteen. Yes, he's going to make a speculative pass at these reds here. Try and make something happen. 25. He has the sanctuary of the four on the bulk line, colours-wise, to hide in behind. So that's plan B. Let's see if plan A works if he plays it with pace. 26. Not great, but it, you could get the... The idea was brilliant, wasn't it? This is a knee knocker, if ever there was one. Yeah, there is value, though, numerically with the scoreboard. It's not a big lead, but it's a handy one. Yeah, good pot. <laughs> and see, now he's in complete control. 33. He didn't have to get on a red. <clears throat> get the pot and retain the control. Pop this though. Worth a pop, not this time. Mark Williams, One. Having been kept cold for quite some time, that was a really good effort. Blue ball. <coughs> Six. Is he on the pot direct? No. This plant ain't a certainty. It wasn't a certainty. Seven. Just at the very end. <laughs> a really lengthy delay in dropping in. Fourteen. Teetered on the brink, and then much to Selby's relief, decided to flop in. Fifteen. 
15. half a ball away from having an angle to promote the three reds but even his power I don't think can do it twenty two touching ball This time he's got the optimum angle. They're going to move this time. Oh, how did he only get one of them? You and me both, Mark. Wow. <laughs> 30. The trouble is with that shot, because you're playing it with pace, the cue ball arcs back and then shoots forward. You're never absolutely sure which red you're going to contact. Mark Selby, 30. <clears throat> Shot to nothing. Mark Williams all over. Mark Williams, one. Selby getting out of a awkward little snooker. Him all over. Well, they miss Mark Selby four. A wasteful four points given away.
Five hours, the match time, and potentially plenty more to come. Another 30 minute frame. We've seen quite a few of them. Of course, Selby had a 74 minute decider against Dave Gilbert. once said that snooker was chess with balls. That quote comes to mind here. We're a ways away from checkmate. Yeah, at the moment it's almost like a game of Tetris or something, trying to plug the gaps, but... This time he feels might be value in playing the pot. Not much to aim at, is there? Yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing Mark Selby in Germany one morning. He said, oh, how you doing, Al? Would you like a coffee? All that. Nicest guy in the world. You go out and have a game of snooker with him. He'd have the sugar at your tea. Well, in a miss. Nothing. Mark Selby for... Now, here's a chance to release the red. Hmm, that does surprise me. I thought he could release the red up table, so just top side of the pink and... Yeah, Mark. Hold the cue ball in behind the black. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Well, oh, the miss. Mark Selby, four. Word of commendation here for the referee, Tatiana Wollaston. Any ranking event final is difficult to officiate because of the pressure. A lengthy one like this, her concentration has been exemplary. I 
and this time he's made a, a mistake. All right, it might not be fatal as far as this frame's concerned, but tactical advantage passes to the Welshman. Somehow nestle that cue ball tight behind the black. Yeah, wasn't easy. The faintest of rubs acknowledged by his opponent. Almost now in this frame, a badge of honour. Not to be the first to wilt to, to blink.
The three reds were down this end of the table, then they were up the other end of the table, now they're back here. This, I'm informed, is the 30th shot since the last pot. This is like a football match where both teams are playing the 8-2-0 formation. There's a half chance here, Mark, if he plays the red on the left. There's decent cover. Potentially, that is. certainly didn't play it. He played it much thinner than that. It was all about the cue ball, but what a bonus. All right, he's not nice on a colour, but what a big shot this is. Playing it dead weight, he's guaranteed to leave one. Williams won. Well, again, he's got cover on the one he was expecting to be playing next. He's a wee bit fortunate there, Mark. Yes, the pot could have dropped. It wasn't far from going in. The small things just going his way for the time being. When a high value colour goes over a pocket, sometimes you have an environment for a re rack. 
Just thought I'd put it out there. <laughs> yeah, I can understand Mark Selby's shot there. He didn't have any outs that he could play. Not aggressive, so. Now, will he be interested in a possible double? Time it's back to bulk. Let you know, let us know what you think about this frame on. Our Twitter page, ITV Snooker, at ITV Snooker. Frames have been re-racked after 50-odd minutes. Frames have been re-racked with pink and black on the table. Not an impossibility. Do you want to go now? Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's 48, Mark Williams. He's having to leave the arena for the call of nature, would you believe? <coughs> that is not a re rack, it's just the fact that the players, after such a lengthy amount of time, have been forced to, to pop out. Yeah, the pill I was wondering the other day about the pink and black left and the re rack, the, the names of the players escapes me. I just know that you're about to tell me the answer. <laughs> they escape me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've blanked it out. A psychological move on my yeah. part. I'll tell you what, though, we had an instance in China some years ago where one of the players in a situation where it looked like a possible re rack left the arena to go to the toilet and the referee thought it was a re <laughs> yeah. and put the balls back. Yeah, I did hear of that one. It gives the, uh, the crowd here at the Centaur Arena, Cheltenham Racecourse, a chance to stretch the legs. Two things I'll say about this. One is that over the years, plenty of snooker commentators have said, this is snooker for the connoisseur. I think I've been guilty on a few occasions. This really is, and I can't imagine a better match for the Clive Everton Trophy because Clive loves the psychological differences and the, the way things turn and twist in a snooker match. And, of course, he loves the tactics as well, so he'll be thoroughly enjoying this. Yes, he will. Hi to you, Clive. You're doing well, and, yeah, he'll, he will be watching of that, you can be sure. And we must also tell you what's at stake here. I think there's more at stake for Mark Williams than there is for Mark Selby. Williams, yet to book his place in the champion of champions. Well, at Snooker, or at ITV Snooker on the Twitter, a few names who are loving this. Jamie Allen, Liam Melville, Jamie Hooper, John Bell. Dan Stacey there in that group who are relishing what is a classic in many respects. Not in terms of scoring. Susie Wilkins also right into the, the action together with Victoria Fox. It's one of those matches that isn't typical of snooker these days. 
it really is old school. Yes, very much so. But considering these two guys haven't met for, what is it, two years and five months, I've not seen them go head to head and lock horns as they have all day. But there they, there they are then. It's very different from the last time they played. Selby won 13-3 with a session to spare in the quarter-final of the World Championship. Oh, now then, a breach of concentration. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, just misses the red on the way down. Well, he got <laughs> the thinnest of thin edges of it. But the damage was done. Now then. The problem, obviously, is how does Mark get on the last red from black? It looks a virtual impossible, well, not impossible, but a big ask. He might just play with, with the rest. Keep the cue ball close to the left side cushion with the rest and chip the red out. That might be a play. One. Be thankful for small mercies. We can dismiss the re-rack now. <coughs> yeah, tried Eight. A, almost an exhibition shot. Trying to spin the cue ball round the, the red, but see, it was a devil's own job to get, well anywhere near position but he's got the upper hand plenty cover isn't there Up that central part of the table Mark Selby 8 Selby's snooker looks like having the desired effect. This is the chance to pull one back. Think passes does it to the far right corner, so the pink All right the pot shouldn't be that much of a problem. There you go. So how does he get onto yellow, which he needs? Yeah, well played, that's a great shot. Alright, it wasn't that difficult, but under the circumstances, he, he, he needs a clean kill. Seven. Last thing he would have wanted was another ten minutes battling on the yellow. Nine. Three, four points snookers needed. Sixteen. No way back now. Twenty-one. But of course past matches, many of them 
tell us there is a way back for Mark Selby. And a frame. Mark Selby. He will never wave the white flag. What a frame that was. I think that's accurately described as epic. 8-6 to Williams. Frame 15, Mark Selby to break. The bare numbers here. Mark Selby back within two frames. A possible five to go. And for the purposes of full disclosure, that re-rack on pink and black in China <coughs> featured Chris Wakelin and Matthew Selt. And actually, Chris Wakelin's got an interest in this match because he could possibly qualify for the champion of champions as the shootout champion, but he needs repeat winners. So he's supporting Mark Selby. OK, nothing obviously left, but you can't get closer to a pot and not get it.
taking a calculated gamble this time putting the cue ball in the top right corner <coughs> the thinking behind it is that because the pockets are that tight all that red is near the the pocket as you see there it's not a certainty far from it missed one earlier on today yes it was along the end cushion similar proximity to the pocket Play it with a certain amount of pace to get the cue ball out of there. There you go. That was a calculated gamble that has paid off for Mark Selby. Can he take advantage? One. Terrific pot, worth remembering as well. Regardless of the hour, he tends to, down the years, get stronger as these nights draw later and later. How he does it, I don't know, but that's what he does. Five. Six. Oh, it's the end of break. 13. That will really annoy him because... Yeah, the little gap. He's just looking for any sort of thick-ish cannon. Will annoy him, yes, because he's had a, good, a decent chance to score. But so because of Mark the Selby. fact he, he put a little plan in place that paid off to little avail in the end. Seems quite a while ago now because it was. Selby made 112 break in the first frame of the evening. Since then, fluency has been in short supply. Yeah, that's a mini mistake. I feel sure he's going to be tempted for the red to the far left corner here. Kill the cue ball virtually stone dead. Leave the cue ball where the red is. Beyond the pink, wouldn't be leaving one. Nailed it. One. Great pop. This is the best chance that Selby's had for quite some time, certainly. 
better than anything that was served up in the previous Seven. frame. Eight. Fifteen. Yeah, I'd love to get the one nearest the camera lens. Very tight, isn't it? Whether he can get quite get through to it. Yeah, too risky. Sixteen. Well, ten or twelve inches shy of pace. He kind of played the money positional shot there. If he got it correct, it could have been a frame winner, but this is such a tough pot because it's a shot you don't play very often. Completely blind. Oh, it's a stunning pot, though, and now he's set to win the frame in one hit. The beauty of the way he played that shot there was 20. that he didn't hesitate and deliberate and think about it too much. He's trying as best he can to find some rhythm. Drawn in all his vast experience. Twenty four. It's a beautiful shot, wasn't it? I mean, just not even the pot, the cue ball was perfection. Not out the woods just yet, obviously. Black, not great. Pink out of commission. See then, maybe just about goes the black. Yeah, here it is here, yeah, no problem. Twenty six. Twenty seven. This afternoon at his lowest ebb, Selby trailed 3 0 and 5 1. 33. Has the opportunity here to get back within a single frame. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Yeah, the way he's played that, the black spot is covered, so it'll go on the green, almost out of harm's way. Maybe. Can't quite see the spot there. If it does, not a major issue. Yeah, 
the two together, the top one must go because he wouldn't have risked the black being spotted, which it does, so it's out of commission, but... 46. Plenty of loose reds to be able to win the frame at this visit. He's got this rare ability. So it'll be, you look in your rear view mirror, you can't see anything. And lo and behold, he looks in trouble and then all of a sudden he's right on your tail, back to just one behind, providing this red disappears. 52. Never knows when he's defeated, this guy. Not the highest break of the match, but given the situation, given the timing, one of the very best. Sixty-eight. Mark Selby, sixty-eight. This is a British Open friend. final that's living up to expectations. Mark Williams still ahead, but only narrowly now. Eight-seven.
when these two butt heads, you know it's going to be quite a match. It could be heavy scoring. It could be tactical. I think it's been both today. We've seen a couple of centuries from Mark Williams early. 110 and 133. That's when he was looking really good. Selby's chipped in with a century also. But predominantly, this match, certainly the way it's gone to now, Alan, will be remembered for being a battle royal. Yeah, absolutely. That's the way it should be. These things, these big tournaments, these huge ITV events weren't designed for... I'm going to just turn up and take the prize without a good old scrap. And that's what we've got. Frame but the 16. quality is there in Mark every Williams department, as you say. And we've got take lots seats, more of please. it to come. And the tension will only ramp up as we go along. Really getting towards the, the crux of this final now. Marcel before. Kevin, okay, can you please double check? Thank you. Okay. You think of Mark Williams as that triple crucible kingpin, and of course he is. He's had a wonderful career, but he's not immune to losing big ranking finals from a position of superiority. Just over a decade ago, he lost three in quick succession. 2010 UK Championship. He was 9-5 up on John Higgins, lost 10-9. Higgins needed a snooker in one of his comeback frames. 2011 Australian Goldfields Open final, lost 9-8 to Stuart Bingham, led 8-5. 2011... Shanghai Masters, lost 10-9 to, guess who? Mark Selby, from 9-7 up. Yeah, now he has a chance at this red. He's going to have to go quite deep on the cue ball, you would think. Oh, just passing just above the black. Potential of the yellow waiting. Plenty of power. Crisp. Very crisp. Now the brown doesn't go. One. Does the green. Yeah, it must do. He's and obviously a good look at it, but what a terrific pot. Worth another look. Is he just showing a few signs here of getting stronger as this final draws on? Ah, 
That is a fabulous shot. Fantastic shot. Four. Two pots that you didn't even have to see them, just hear them. The sound of them was beautiful. Five. That gorgeous sound of Aramathon leather. And all of a sudden, he's got a wee bit of bright eyed and bushy tailed about him, Mark Selby, for the first time, I think, in this match. Yes, he's played well in spells. He's only missed one pot in the last three Ten. frames. The Iron Man Eleven. is doing what he does. Seventy. Love to get four or five reds into the open. That's all he needs. Controlled pace played to perfection again. Twenty. One of those lovely splits where, because there's an open red, you're pretty much guaranteed to dislodge. Twenty five. And continue. Thirty-six. Steered that a little. That's why he's short of where he wanted to be on this red, although it's still eminently potable. And he's a reasonably tall man, Mark Selby, who's got good reach. Even that. Even that. Doesn't mean he won't require this extension on the back of the queue. Mm, and the just Mark Selby, small 36. added degree of complexity led to the missed pot. Yes, in the end, it was uh, quite a straightforward mistake that has been his undoing. There you go. Got to re-establish himself, Willow. No. Nope. And he's left one, has he? to the left corner, maybe not. Yeah, here it is again, just completely out of sync and out of touch and out of table time.
now. That was a bad error, really bad. Mm, it was weak and risky and all the bad things. <coughs> Not like him. One. It was the worst possible outcome for Williams. Been bad enough had he been 40 in front, let alone 40 behind. Eight. The end of this frame might come swiftly, should come swiftly. Yeah, having to regroup. He will do. Goes wrong just at the point where he was about to draw level, is about to say 16. the last time he was level in this match was 10 hours ago. Mark Selby, 16. Selby, so extra mindful because look at the table. Williams has to counter-attack and if he gets the opportunity, they're all there without exception. Not an awkward ball in sight. Keep it that way. <coughs> Selby would love to take out an insurance policy or two. Choices, choices, two potential. Shots to nothing. Oh, the brown would be a bad cannon. Mark Williams would be taking something on. This is a chance. This is a, a really good chance. OK, I know that the pot's not a cinch. Far from it. But as Phil said, the way the Reds are, can he find one from the soles of his shoes? He needs one badly right about now. Got it. <laughs> what a chance now. When he captured his third world title, he was being put under immense pressure by John Higgins. But he found a clearance from nowhere. Can he do so again? If 
history has taught us anything, it's that <coughs> these great champions are champions for Aye. reasons that normal snooker players just don't get. They're more likely to make a, a potential match win in clearance, a crucial one at times like this. For lesser players, pressure messes up the thought process. For great players, it crystallises the thought process. Twenty. Selby will be fearing the worst here. Twenty-eight. his feet on the way in. If anything, 35. that might just jolt his senses into complete concentration. Sometimes that's not a bad thing to happen. 36. He's kind of trying to just roll along here and make this as if it ain't anything when it means the world in the terms of the, this match. Might just... put his levels of concentration onto high alert. Absolutely perfect. This is the key shot. Nice on the next colour 43. with access to yellow. 43. And he's a huge favourite to clear. He's absolutely perfect. Arrives on the colours, seven adrift, so needs down to the pink. Yeah, that wasn't perfect, though. And well recovered. Fucking sensational. He's led all day long. He was one or two balls away from being caught. He was thrown the thinnest of 58. lifelines. And he's jumped all over it. 63. But that's not perfect either. Wow. 54. Oh, that was a bad one. This for the frame. Yeah. He's been world number one. He's been world champion. And that is why. Mark Selby's made of stern stuff, but so is Mark Williams. One from victory.
We've just Thank seen you. solid Frame goal 17. from Mark Williams. Mark and that break. is the silverware. Who will hoist it aloft? Williams back favourite, but never discount Mark Selby. Do so at your peril. A red from distance. The eye of Williams may be back in. Yeah, good call, Phil. There's a few ball to pull up. It's not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna settle for second prize. Mark Williams won. Played the red as a quasi shot to nothing. As soon as the red went in, he wanted it to be a shot to something, but it wasn't. Yeah, so just on this past six hours. on he's looking at the potential it's quite a nice target the direct cannon on the black might well play around the back of it it depends what way, which way he feels yeah he's not going direct 
but a chance for Mark Selby to get going again. Did not hit that well at all. Struck the red into the thick part of the pockets. Nowhere near on the right side of the blue. <laughs> Fabulous shot. First person you would think of as a power merchant in this sport, but he's got reserves of it and waiting. He needed it there, and he need it even more here, perhaps. Force this cue ball up for blue or ball Seven. color. Very good. It's not all that difficult to just dab the red in and be on the pink, but where's the next red coming from? So it's back to the power play. 11. Simply superb. Seventeen. Eighteen. a gap. Has he got the... 23. The dream gap. Yes, he has. The ground we're on is synonymous with the Cheltenham Gold Cup. In that race, you need heart, class, staying power. Selby's Fancy. got all three. The 
first ever Gold Cup was in 1819. It was won by a horse called Spectre, and there's always a Spectre of a Selby recovery. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Yeah, isn't it? In the race, the line, the going is irrelevant. You can win any way you want it. A bit of everything today. He's hanging so tough, he's been playing catch up. For 10 hours. Forty-three. Still a bit of breathing space, but Nothing that you can in any way relax. <coughs> no. Mark Selby, <coughs> forty four. That is a major surprise, isn't it? Positionally, there was nothing to the shot. The door's ajar. Only just in this frame. One. Yeah, unlike the previous frame, the balls needed an awful lot of sorting out. Mark Williams won. I think it was worth the risk. But it might well have cost him the frame. Yeah, I, I agree, Phil. It's one of those. Black out of commission. Red's not great. Sometimes you've got to just try and make something happen. So red color to all but close to one behind again. Six. Seven.
A Ten. snooker is required, but Selby would have loved to pop one more red. Mark Selby, 10. Williams has salvaged many an unlikely frame, but against Mark Selby, it's doubly difficult. Anyone at any time can play a bad shot, but Selby rarely plays an incorrect shot. And when it comes to getting out of snookers, there is no one better. Tatiana just letting this go for a shot or two I'm sure well if this continues she will step in of course it's not going to be any sort of stalemate not with the scoreboard as is yeah Mark would love a re-rack but he's whistling in the wind <laughs> I think he can get the cue ball in bulk if he wants to. For some reason he's 
keeping these reds in situ for the time being, but You don't see this kind of situation too often when a snooker is required. No, you don't. Not at all. I'll be having a pop at this red, though. No plant on, as you can see. Yes. Yeah, great pop. One. Just potted it on the thick end of the pocket, so... Quite managed to get the cue ball high enough for the disturb. Maybe off the top cushion with a flick of left. The side cushion, rather. Oh, what a little gem that was. There might be a bit of mileage in this frame yet with that shot. Nine. He would have loved the cue ball out a bit farther. Just going to lose the cue ball here. A fraction. to hold it as much as he possibly could but it's not a sitter it's not a cinch to get 16 a good snooker here Mark Williams 16 and he's not got one yeah he just didn't get the cue ball out straight enough on the, the previous black <laughs> great effort that wasn't it great shot to set the situation up, but to no avail this time. Williams not gaining the snooker last time. Source of relief for Selby, but there's still jeopardy. And if he can extract the penalty points, look where the balls are. Again. Primed for a clearance. Yeah, the cue ball being near the cushion makes the swerve not guaranteed. Should hit this red of one or two cushions. Not the sort of shot you want to play with the right hand side because you could possibly spin round the back of it. Should hit it. But you could go round the back wow. of it. Wow. Mark and he's Williams left the free ball and the black is a sitter. Ball. This is a chance to win the title right here and now. Talk about role reversal. Let us see, I always think with this shot, play with it a little bit of check, left hand side, One. so that it can't go round the back of it. Wow. I'm nervous for Mark Williams. Seven. So close. Eight. A couple of seasons ago, he had one of the best <coughs> seasons, I think, of his career. He hit the crossbar in so many big titles. He kept losing in the side and frame matches in the biggest of tournaments. Is he about to land a real big one? Ten. Unlike the previous frame, when he snatched it on the pink, he needs all of them here. Thank 
you. Fifteen. He's perfect. He's perfect. Like I say, he should have won a couple of big titles not so long ago. He didn't get the job done. But where there's a willow, there's always a way. Four balls away from the title. 19. 24. This could be missed. title is the second oldest player to win a world ranking tournament and boy did he earn that what a classic final in the end he's beaten Mark Selby who was desperate to gain more success at the age of 48 and 192 days evergreen Mark Williams is going to lift yet another trophy Ladies and gentlemen, before we hear from our two finalists, may we have another round of applause for two of the all-time greats. Mark, what a match. So often you can pull yourself back from the brink, and you very nearly did. But he's still pretty good for an old guy, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he played amazing today, you know. I can't remember him missing too many long balls. Uh, some of the balls he potted, I mean, when he was at his peak, he was, he was doing that all the while, and he was sort of rolling back the years today. But, uh, yeah, you know, it wasn't to be. I felt like I was just fighting against it all day. Mark was playing brilliant, and a couple of times, like I had the black, I think it was 8-7, topped it off the cushion to go into the pack. I thought, the angle I've gone in at, I thought I can't possibly not land, and landed on nothing, and Mark potted a great long red and, and cleared up in the last frame. Well, my head was spinning, you know, the last two frames. But, uh, you know, my father always told me what one rule to look after your elders, and that's definitely what I've done today. <laughs> Spoken like a true champion. He'll, he'll sign it for you later. Um, and look, you're back to your best overall. This was your sixth consecutive semi-final to make a 34th ranking final. You're up towards the top end of the leaderboards again. Things are going in the right direction again. Yeah, I feel good about my game, you know. Uh, I started off poor today, you know, the first frame was sort of set the tone for the match, really, for me. I mean, after that, Mark played great and 3-0, and when you give him quality players like that to a three-frame lead, it's, it's always hard to, to get it back. But, you know, I, I dug in and, and never gave in like always. And, uh, yeah, if I go eight all, uh, then who knows? It could be a different game. But, you know, every credit to Mark. It's his day today. He played brilliant. You're a great ambassador for snooker. Hard luck tonight and see you at the champion of champions, Mark Selby. Wow. Mark Williams, a champion again, the second oldest winner of a ranking title. You're up to 25 ranking titles. You're first in 1996. You just keep on delivering. Yeah, that was unbelievable. Towards the end, then, I think both of us was uh, feeling the nerves a little bit. But how I, I always managed to win that last frame, I don't know. But I'm just over the moon. I never expected I could still get the finals at 48. And, and to, to win and play in someone like Selby, who's like, for me, is the third best player ever to pick up the queue. So, <laughs> so <laughs> that, that, that's in front of me, by the way. Uh, but yeah, what can I say? These things don't come along too often at my age, and I'm just going to enjoy this one. Where does this rank amongst your all-time achievements? You've done everything, but clearly it still means so much. I think this probably has to be up there, you know, because 
I'm not supposed to be beating people like Selby in the finals, really, am I? Uh, so just to, just to be able to compete, compete with them, I felt like my safety was competing with him today, which is not many people can compete with him in safety play. But uh, I, I mean, I'm over the moon. I'm just going to enjoy this. I'm supposed to be playing tonight, I think, uh, in Brentwood in the English Open, but we, I'm not going. We're playing the next day, so I'm just going to try and enjoy it. Well, you really should. You continue to be a fine, fine ambassador for World Snooker, and it's just been a privilege to watch both of you tonight. Your champion, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Williams. <laughs> OK, snooker fans around the world, it's time now for the official presentation as we welcome into the arena. A round of applause, please, for CEO of World Snooker Tour, Simon Brownell. And now we recognise your 2023 Kazoo British Open runner-up, the winner of £45,000. Let's hear it for the jester from Leicester, Mark Selby. And now we welcome your winner to collect his medal and £100,000 alongside the Clive Everton Trophy, your 2023 Kazoo British Open champion. It's the Welsh potting machine, Mark Williams. <laughs> Thank you very much for your 